Okay, so guys, we're going to show you some common mistakes that we see on Razorback. The first one that we're going to show you is when you drop down and immediately run through the circle to start the fight. Um, it doesn't have to be right uh, like right away. Sometimes they'll kill the ads and then they'll step through the plates. Um, but it usually starts the fight before people are ready for it. So I'm going to drop down, run through the plate, and uh, just show you what happens. Normally we want to set up and get two people on each corner, but if I step inside here, you can see that as soon as I step on the circle, it activates, and we're going to start to get some ads spawning. So you can see the ads are already spawning in behind the guys, and they're about to shoot them in the back. This makes it tricky when they're still focused on the ones in front of them. We're also going to show you some other common mistakes, um, mostly in calling for the plates. So. We've already activated the fight. We haven't dealt with boomers yet. Uh, this can be considered fast plates when you just call circles again if you want to. But for the way that we do it, we always put two people back to help kill the boomer. In this case, I'm just gonna call plates early. So circles in three, two, one, get in. That means that a boomer is gonna come out and it's up to the single person to take care of them. So we're just going to wait to see where the boomer gets called out from. If they aren't able to kill the boomer by themselves, then it's more likely to be a wipe. Crossbow. We've got 90 seconds between the boomers. And so the longer we take, the more likely a boomer is going to come out. But if you're supposed to be doing damage to the boss or prepping, and the boomer comes out, you may miss yours. So I can hear the alarm, but I don't know where that one is. On three. It sounds like it's on three. So Sally can't do damage to Razorback. He's got to take care of the boomer. If, you're da if your group DPS isn't very hot, that may mean that you'll miss a damage phase. All right, some other mistakes that we see is people not getting into the circles in time. So I'm gonna call out circles. Circles in three, two, one, get in. But I'm not going to jump in just yet. Somebody was late, and we're going to wait till the timer gets over 20% there. So now that we're further than 20%, I'll jump in here. And you're going to see that with our, um, our thing, you can see that we're well further than 20% apart from each other. So Nox is going to hit 100%, and if he waits in there too long at 100% before I do, He's going to get a bomb on him. That bomb will kill the crossbow quite often and uh, the demo will be okay. So you can see we were, we were late and we got bombed. We didn't get the chance to open up Razorback with it. Next thing I'm going to show you is throwing the wrong grenade. So normally we're using our demo ammo or our concussion grenade. Oh, you can also see that Nox threw the wrong grenade in. He threw the fire grenade and it doesn't change it from red to green. So this time, guys, I'm going to show you stepping out of the plates early. This one quite often happens when we go to throw our demolitionist or our crossbow ammo. Uh, they try to line up a better shot, and they step out of circles to do it. So we're going to wait till everything gets to 100% on all the plates. Crossbow. We're going to pull our demo ammo out, but since we're on a bit of an angle, quite often what happens is people step out to shoot. And you can see the two bombs came out, and they almost, well, they did kill Nox, and they killed the jammer, and Serious the drones hurt a lot that way. So you don't want to step out of your circle, you want to stay inside the circle the whole time. Alright, another common mistake that we yes, see is not throwing the grenade or not um, not using the demolitionist on this, this, the grate or the hole behind it. And so we'll show you what happens if we just don't put a grenade into it. So the grate is gone, but we're not throwing a, a grenade in. And what you'll see is the second wave of drones comes out second wave of drones has come out that's telling us that our timer is almost up we have to get a grenade in there soon otherwise the bombs are going to come out again once again this isn't a big deal for the demo people you can see i shrugged that one off but nox is almost dead and he's bleeding out from it now 
So that really, really hurts the crossbow people. Another common mistake that we see is before the grate is destroyed, we see the demolitionist being shot at the grate. The demolitionist ammo doesn't break the grate. You need to use your, your gun ammo or you need to use the crossbow for it. So, crossbow. Nox is not going to shoot the grate this time. We're just going to keep the grate right there. And quite often people shoot like this and they say, it's not working. Um, but it doesn't do anything to it. So now that Nox shot his crossbow, we can shoot. Another common mistake, uh, or it can be used to speed up the fight, is to break both weak points. You can break the back, and the front is open. Now if some damage is done to the front and some damage is done to the back, it means that it closes, but we have to reopen by breaking both weak points for it to work again. Alright, since both the front and the back side broke, and we did damage on both the front and back side, we're going to open up the front one more time, and you're going to see that there's just a sliver of health left on it. The reason for it is you can only do a max of 25% damage um, before Razorback closes up again. And so that 25%, half of it could be on the front, half of it could be on the back. So we're going to show you what happened because Sally did a little bit of damage on the back side. Guys, don't shoot the top when it opens. Just let it sit there. So we're going to open up the top side here. And you're going to see that we have just one hit point left on it. And that's because Sally did a little bit of damage on the back side when both the front and the back were opened. So we're going to break that now. Critical systems compromised. But sometimes it would be like quarter of it would still be left and you have to open the weak points up again for it to work. So the other thing that is a common mistake is not shooting Boomer or shooting the wrong part of him. Uh, if you shoot anywhere else on him, you do armor damage to him but your health doesn't actually go down. Shooting him in the ass does health damage. You can see it goes right past his armor but shooting his cheeks or anywhere else will do armor damage to him. And if you don't shoot him in time, he will launch those missiles, and they will wipe us. So you want to shoot him right in the ass, right in the hole. And we're golden, all done now. Last thing to do would be to go shoot these consoles here and destroy all of them. If you don't destroy these, then we'll wipe and we'll have to start all over again. Uh, don't actually destroy it, guys. Wow, I knew it would be Sheriff and that messed it up.